Professor Okimoto, thank you very much for the uh, a very you know that the, the thick you know introduction. <laughs> I'm very proud and uh, pleased and proud to be here. And today I would like to talk how important the U.S.-Japan industrial cooperation is. Uh, by the uh, introducing that our activities in the U.S., especially in the energy and the environmental uh, areas. Uh, already that uh, Okimoto sensei has already introduced uh, some part of the uh, Hitachi. Hitachi was founded uh, in 1910 as a machine shop at a very small mining company. Uh, we call this is a kind of the 100 years venture business. But uh, currently, the already Hitachi has uh, so many operations in the U.S. It was uh, started uh, on uh, 1959. Uh, currently, the Hitachi has 83 subsidiary companies in North America uh, with uh, 15,000 employees uh, leveraging advanced technologies to create uh, inno innovate the solution, innovative solutions for its customers. The revenues in North America in uh, fiscal year 2012 was, were 8.6 billion U.S. dollars. Hitachi has offered a broad range of the products, looking back to the uh, history. The first one is that uh, the very much, you know, the uh, home appliance area at first, TV set or semiconductors, uh, electronic component business. The also, that the started of the uh, power equipment like uh, water, uh, hydraulic uh, power generating systems, or so kind of things. But now the shifting of the very dynamically, initial stages on simple selling the products. But right now, the very wide range of the, uh, the solution provider, the, the one of the uh, largest business in the U.S. In, of the Hitachi is storage solution area, data center services, or those areas as well. The, since the in early uh, beginnings of over 100 years, Hitachi's corporate cradle has been uh, contributing to society through the development of the superior original technology and products over the years. That mission has led the Hitachi to develop a host of the products, services, and solutions that address a wide range of the infrastructure challenges. Society's needs for advanced technology is constantly evolving. With, with its determination to improve the uh, quality of life for the global community, Hitachi decided to focus on the social innovation business. This term is not so common, but now we would like to call it innovation is one of the key words for developing our business. The through its uh, uh, social innovation business, Dutch hopes to provide the total solutions for improving the utilization of uh, energy, maintaining and improving the transportation infrastructure in the urban areas, the developing of technologies that promote a smooth and efficient tran transition to a smart grid, while keeping the sharp eye on the sustainable objectives and conservation of the world's supply of the precious natural resources. In the area of energy, Hitachi demonstrated experience in the supercritical coal-fired summer power plants. A typical example is a mid-American project. Hitachi's efforts in social innovation business are not limited to U.S. The GE and Hitachi formed a global nuclear alliance by establishing a joint venture. In the area of automotive products, Hitachi Automotive Systems America develops an 
cells are key technology that contribute to the vehicle safety, but something that's shown in the chart here. So I've already mentioned about uh, the storage solutions area. Hitachi Data Systems is uh, industry leading virtualization technology is uh, the top share of the uh, high-end storage market. It's going, uh, uh, it's going to the other uh, energy uh, policy in the world. The, the we, uh, the just after the Fukushima, we need uh, really our own energy policy. So that uh, today, I would like to the uh, three important uh, uh, concept. We would like to so-called the three E's approach. The first one, energy security. It involves the development of the independency of independent energy sources through diversification of the supply. The second one is the environment. That involves uh, sustainability of the uh, global environment by uh, preventing uh, the global warming. And the third one, the economy. The, this is a very key point for the how to manage of the uh, total cost of the energy. So those three is a very important. So three is concept is a key factor for deciding some direction of the energy. So the other, the, as uh, each power source has a different features. No single source can meet all the three standards at the same time. That shows uh, the rough evaluation for that. Coal power still is uh, very important. The number of the other check mark shows you some advantage of the each uh, area. The natural gas, right now these are really the, the, the shale gas revolutions suggested us that this is a very advanced the advantage of the energy sources. How about the nuclear powers? The environmental and the moderate in the economy. But now the other in Japan is a little bit emotional, the resistance to pro uh, promote of the uh, a nuclear energy. And the last one is the renewal energy. That's really everybody like it, but uh, it's a very unstable, it's a fully dependent on the weather. So that we need to combine of those kind of the, uh, the multi source of the uh, energy, how to setting up. The, regarding the nuclear power, the, some government uh, revised their energy policy the, just after the Fukushima so the other, the, so many other countries is a different policy. Even in the developing, developed countries, US, UK, Finland, and Japan, oh, it's a little not clear, but uh, maintain the plans for that. But the simultaneously in the, the Europe, Germany, Italy, and Switzerland is a move to the, uh, toward the denuclearization. That's really the, so many the variety of the uh, countries. But now I'd like to emphasize that nuclear power should be considered as a feasible option to achieve both environmental objectives and sustainable growth. The best energy policy should be determined from the three E. That's a key point for today's discussions. And the the each country has its own the different environment. What's the most appropriate energy portfolio is one of the key government policy. Let me introduce of the uh, current change of the Japan's uh, uh, new uh, administrations. Professor Okimoto already shown of the Abe no mix, but Japan is uh, really facing of the a little bit the difficult situations. But my understanding is current LDP's uh, nuclear policy or some others energy policy is uh, summarized here. The first one is a restart of the nuclear power generator. 
the current administration led the, by the LDP is seeking to restart nuclear power generation operation. Uh, of course, uh, the very important security review has been achieved. Then the second point is that the promotion of the uh, renewable energy. The new government is unexpected to promote of this renewable energy, the windmill and uh, the solar energy. This will be at least a 20 years commitment by the government. And the third one is a reforming of the structure of the electric uh, power sector, the, how to arrange of the other uh, new uh, electric utility companies, organizations. That's a clear message from the LDP and the Abe San's cabinet. And also the uh, very important point of the uh, force is CO2 reduction target. The previous DPJ administration set a 25% CO2 reduction target, uh, which was uh, retracted after Fukushima. The current administration is planning to review CO2 emission data and create a new emission target. The last one is the most important one, energy mix target. They will announce of this uh, new energy portfolio but now those kind of things is uh, really, we can not, Japan cannot uh, decide everything by themselves. That's a be very important point. The total consideration of how, what the world is considering is one of the key factors. Well, today I would like to reach of the other most important subject of my speech, the U.S.-Japan Industrial Corporation. One of the typical one, the U.S.-Japan alliance in nuclear technology, that should, should and can contribute to the global environmental objective. But this chart shows you a somewhat uh, surprising one, that we put all of the nuclear powers is under construction or planned right now in the world. You may be surprised of the huge number shown in um, Russia and China. And uh, so many countries they still has a very clear plan in the uh, UK or India or Vietnam, or Korea, Japan, US as well. But now the majority is uh, Russia and China. This chart suggests uh, so many things about that. Not uh, simply of the uh, energy security issues national security or how to maintain of the uh, total environmental security. Japan has a very severe accident, but now how to manage it and how to set up the whole environment of the nuclear power, nuclear technology, technology leaders. The leadership is, has to be taken by two, two countries, US and Japan. So U.S. and Japan can cooperate to achieve the enhanced energy efficiency. But this chart is a little bit a different view. As a matter of fact, in Japan, after the Fukushima, Japan is managed of the old energy controls and saving it. And so the, uh, we are now can manage it without any the nuclear power operations. But now, no more <laughs> further, you know, that the uh, operation is uh, facing of the, uh, some difficulty. So the other, also this is uh, another important point. The U.S. is very advanced in the market mechanism of the electric power systems, such as uh, demand response. Uh, but now while Japan is advanced in energy efficient technology, such as highly efficient electric generating facilities and industrial machines. The U.S. and Japan can mutually complement each other in this area in order to achieve the uh, enhanced energy efficiency globally, which is a key to achieving environmental objectives. 
that's uh, uh, one of the examples that Hitachi incorporates the three E's through a comprehensive energy solutions. So Hitachi is advocating the social innovation business, which integrate IT and inf infrastructure technologies. Hitachi's basic approach is to contribute to achieving the three E's through the comprehensive energy solutions by means of the social innovation. Let me some example, U US, Japan, industrial cooperation, based on our the business cases. In cooperation with GE Hitachi, is promoting the nuclear power technology globally, including the US, UK, Finland, Lithuania, and Vietnam. Hitachi is uh, contributing to the uh, realization of the UK's energy policy through the, uh, the nuclear technology. The UK government's uh, energy portfolio is very clear. 20% of the, uh, the energy, uh, nuclear energy is uh, kept for the, uh, the some kind of the uh, good arrangement for that. So the other uh, Hitachi acquired the UK nuclear power company in November last year. The, that's uh, Horizon Nuclear Power Limited. The Hitachi and GE is, uh, in joint venture is uh, contributing to these activities. It will take uh, a long time to complete of the uh, total power plant uh, up to the six 1.3 gigawatt the nuclear power plants will be com uh, constructed. Uh, those kind of the activities are, is a, a symbol of the cooperation, industrial cooperation between US and Japan. And the other example is that Hitachi is contributing to grid the stabilization in a smart grid project. Typical example is uh, Hawaii, the, the island Maui. Hitachi is demonstrating a smart grid on the Maui island in the state of the Hawaii in the cooperation with the uh, new energy and industrial development organization, MEDO in Japan, and trying to construct an energy infrastructure which does not depend on the fossil fuel and uh, highly renewable energy sources to be applied for that. This is also that a very good you know, example of the uh, future of the industrial cooperation. The shale gas revolutions led by US that brought about uh, new hopes and opportunities to the old humankind. Uh, however the we look at the world, we still can see many in the regions that are facing limits of growth due to the lack of energy. As global citizens, we have the responsibility to address uh, the common issues shared by the all humankind, such as energy and environmental issues. Those kind of the world is a little bit, you know, large scale, but uh, really the US, Japan, industrial cooperation will read this kind of the trend. And, and also that uh, Hitachi would like to contribute to this kind of the, uh, the very strong promotion of the collaborative corporations between US and Japan. So the other finally that uh, the future of the uh, total energy on the environmental area, at least those areas, this industrial cooperation will lead the world. I hope so. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Nakanishi. Fine, uh, we'd like to request.